Hi, welcome to Ed Foodie. It's Thanksgiving week and I am going to take some rest and relaxation and therefore my wife has graciously accepted to be guest chef for this week. On Ed Foodie, my wife Catherine. It's a cold day in Texas, and we're going to have a Chinese hot pot. Yes. Yeah. It's basically you have a special dish here that's you see cut uh, into two parts with water. You put uh, spices, like real hot spices, on one half, and not so hot on the other side, so you can. Uh, if you want spicy food, you do the one side. And then you basically have all these different things here. You got Chinese cabbage, peppers, celery, onions, mushrooms. Uh, we're having lamb and what other kind of meat? Lamb and beef. Beef. And you just take all these things and uh, or drop it in the hot pot, cook it, and then eat it. I'll show progressive videos as we go. This will go on the hot side of the pot. Lots of uh, chili oil in there. This is what, mild spices? Um, hot pot salt soup. Hot pot soup base plain. Not no real spicy. spicy. Uh, it's for lamb. You smell something from here. Smell. <laughs> Can you smell? Ooh, yeah, it smells. It smells hot. If you can go to Chinese store, you can buy some Chinese beef. Like lamb, hot pot, hot pot meat, like lamb. Yeah, she's cutting this up. Uh, when you go to a Chinese grocery store, you can actually buy it already thinly sliced. Very thin, so hot pot meat is very thin because you cannot cook long time. You just got here short time. Nice yeah, the off. thinner the better because it, it's just basically boiling water. So you don't want to, uh, you want to make sure it cooks quickly. So that's just for spices, jujube. You don't eat no, those. Too. Is it just to flavor? Oh, for flavor, and you eat it. Oh, okay. Mickey loves Chinese hot pot. Do you like Chinese hot pot? So all the vegetables and meats have been washed and prepared. Now we're just waiting for the hot pot to start to boil. So this hot pot actually has a what the Americans would call hot pot or hot plate uh, attached and it's plugged into the electric outlet so that it stays. Yes. It keeps the water boiling. Whatever you like the stuff, you just can put there. You can put the very hot, you can mm -hmm. don't need to put. I'll be dropping in Twinkies and <laughs> cake, pie. Let's see what it tastes like with them. If you want to try, you can try. Uh, carrots, can we... cheese. I we'll might put some cheese in there and see what happens. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, our hot pot's boiling. We first of all to put in this one mushroom into there. This mushroom. Can... Mushroom will cook quick. Yes, it's not quick enough. I'm gonna try the spicy. Very spicy, and this side is not spicy. So you don't just cook one thing at a time. You just throw everything in there. Because you cannot wait a long time if you can wait. Yeah. Okay. This side is no uh, hot and this side is hot. Spicy. Spicy. They're hot, but yeah, not spicy. This side. Then. 
Oh, now the meat's going in. So then in here, and the beef. Do you now want to we can thing? dip it in the sauce. And you can put that sauce. Is it real salty, it probably? Yeah. How about that? Mm. Salty? Peanut sauce. Peanut? Yeah. I think onions would be good in here. Onions, carrots, celery, you know, all kinds of stuff. Whatever you got in the refrigerator, just put it in there. How long does the meat cook? Oh, it's okay right now because it's very thin. You don't need it waiting a long time. This is, um, I guess, real good for like a big social gathering. Yeah. Like we'd have a big party for New Year's Eve and you have everybody mm -hmm. talking, socializing, and then just come over here, drop stuff in and eat as they want to. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That's too much work for you. You're not eating. You're working. Because you don't know how to make. You're just uh, waiting. Next time I'm going to. Eat. This is cilantro. And spinach, I guess. Mmm, cilantro smells good. I want to thank you for letting me have vacation for Thanksgiving. And she's cooking the meal. Not for Thanksgiving, but for the Thanksgiving video. Thank you. You're welcome. Our guest, guest chef, Chef Catherine. <laughs> if you like this video, Please give, me one. give me a thumbs up or give Catherine a thumbs up. A like, please subscribe and drop me a comment if you want to see more of this Chinese um, home cooking. I'll see if I got money in the budget to pay our new chef to do some <laughs> cooking for us. This joke. On behalf of the Ed Foodie staff, all the people that work for Ed Foodie, mm -hmm. which is you and me, we would like to present to you mm -hmm. your own Ed Foodie apron that you can wear next time when you Thank you, I can wear it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, <everybody. laughs> Alright. Now we're putting some rice noodles in there to make rice noodle soup. And my idea, mm -hmm. cherry tomatoes. You know what would really be good in here? Mm -hmm. Some of that India paneer, mm -hmm. the cheese that doesn't melt, mm -hmm. that would be really good in here. Yeah. There you have it, very simple.